Okay, so second installment here. Um, I'm back in Loom, and here is the video that I just made for you guys um, about how to find all that stuff. And, and it is here. So now I have some options of what I can do with it. Okay, option number one, you have a link right here, um, which will allow you to, like, like Loom will host it, and, and it won't be... Like it won't be on YouTube. It'll be on the Loom servers and you'll just link to their spot and they'll play it for you. It appears that you have the option to set some permissions here so that you can control access. But if you wanted to add it to your YouTube channel, which would be much easier to upload into your, your websites because the YouTube videos go in so nice and neat, then what you need to do is download it. And so I clicked on this button before I started this video. That downloaded it and so now I have this file right down here. Um, and so to upload that to YouTube is actually pretty simple. I'm just going to click here and open a new window. I'm going to go to my waffle and I'm going to move my face out of the way. Go to my waffle and I'm going to go to YouTube. Okay. And once I go to YouTube, I'm going to go to my channel. Oh, actually, I think it's this one right here, this little button that says Upload. It. So I'm going to say Upload, and it's going to select files to upload, and then it says or drag and drop video files, which is really sweet because what that means is that I can just grab this file right down here that I just downloaded from Loom, and I can just drag it right up here and drop it. Okay, and it's going to begin the upload process. Of putting it in there. Now I get this really goofy title, so I'm going to change the title on it real quick, and I'm going to say something like um, "Loom Loom, uh, Loom Extension Video." Okay, good enough for a title. Now, there is one thing that you want to be careful of when you do a YouTube video. Um, if, if default is public, and so if you if you have this right here set to public, then it will be on your YouTube channel. People will be able to search you and find your videos, and it'll be one that they can see. The other options that you have here are unlisted and private, or you can do a scheduled release, and it'll only be available, I'm guessing, for a certain amount of time. Um, this type of a video I'm going to choose to do as public because I want anybody who wants to see how to do this um, to be able to see it. So I'm going to leave it as public. Um, you might consider setting yours to be unlisted, um, but we'll see. I'm not sure what I think about that yet. Anyway, um, so check your settings there. You've got a title for it. It's done processing, so this thing is ready to go live to YouTube. And so if I hit publish, um, that video is going out now. Okay, here is my YouTube link for sharing this. Okay, so I can control C to copy that. And then my final step for my website would of course be to go to sites.google.com. I'm gonna pick a site. And I'll put this one on my uh, my regular classroom website. And we'll put it under the CTE and health modules. I'm going to add a text box down below. And in that text box, I'm going to do a YouTube video. I'm going to say this one, search it, there's my video, I click it. Yeah, that's a video today. And I hit select, and there we go. Can resize that a little bit if I feel like I need to, but now my video is is a part of what's going on in um, in my website. So there you go, quick and easy, how you handle getting your Loom video into YouTube so that you can get it embedded into your website nice and neat. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.